Hello, 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 Sentinel. Give me hello. Oh, there you are. You were gone such a long time. I was just thinking of sending you a picture postcard. Say, Sentinel, do you know you don't look a day older than you did when you first took my number? How? You say you've got my number. Well, if that's the case, why are you keeping it a secret? All right, all right. You get me all mixed up. First you tell me you have my number, then you ask me what number I want. Once more, and for the last time, I ask you like a gentleman, please to give me ten cents worth of main, toot, 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 toot. Main, toot, 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 toot. What do you say? Do I hear a fire engine? No, thank you. But I've been in this booth so long, perhaps it's coming to put me out. By golly, that... Oh, hello. Hello. Is this the Riley's Auto Exchange? Well, this is Cohen on the phone. Samuel S. Cohen. Something has happened to the car, you told me. What's that you say? Have an accident? No, thank you. I just had one. Say, when I bought the car, didn't you say it was a runabout? Well, so far, it's a runabout 50 miles and stopped about 500. What do you say? Ain't I stuck on the car? Say, Mr. Riley, you're as funny as a flat tire. I didn't say I had a flat tire. But I can sell you a nice two-family house. What? All right, but you can't blame a man for trying. Ain't I stuck on the car? No, but I've been stuck in it ten times and stuck under it six times. You don't care if I'm stuck. Listen, I... Oh, where am I stuck? <laughs> All over, but principally in the bank balance. Your salesman told me the car was 60 horsepower. Perhaps it was. But since I bought it, Fifty-nine of the horses died of old age, and the one that's left is very, very sick. No, I didn't say you were sick. I was sick when I bought the car. Now I'm here, and you're there, and I want you to come here from there and take me to there. What do you say? I should shut up. Oh, you're shut up for the night. Well, it's too bad you weren't in that condition when I came in to buy the car. What shall I do about it? I can't stop, and I can't stop here. It's a nice country, but it's too early for my vacation. What? Is there any gasoline in the tank? I should care. Didn't you say the car was a self-starter? What do you say, A.B.? Just hold the wire a minute, Mr. Riley. What? Yes. Oh, I see. <laughs> oh, Mr. Riley, excuse me. What? I should say that. I'm not laughing at you. I'm laughing for you. My son, Amy, has discovered what's the matter. You've heard about the trouble between Henry Ford and the Jewish people, but you sold me a Ford. And every time we started to talk Jewish, the Ford stopped running. <laughs> Good night, Mr. Riley. For the rest of the trip, we'll talk English. <laughs>